Let's get into Zero Waste Sunscreen. It can be really tricky to navigate all the different sunscreen options on the market. You'll find one that's palm oil free, but then you know it turns out that it's destroying coral reefs, or another one that has zero waste packaging, but it doesn't even contain like an active mineral ingredient. So this is why I'm making this video so that I can help you find sunscreens that kind of cover all of your bases. Uh, these are all zero waste, non-toxic, reef safe, and lab tested. So the sunscreens we selected here either have an excellent safety rating on the environmental working group database or contain only ingredients that have an excellent rating on this database. So there's no use of chemical sunscreen ingredients like oxybenzone, but only uh, one physical sunscreen ingredient, which is non-nano zinc oxide. Another good option would be titanium dioxide. We choose to stick to zinc oxide because titanium dioxide does have shortcomings when it comes to deep tissue protection, and when it's exposed to UV light, it creates more free radicals in the body. As for oxybenzone, the reason to avoid it is that while it is widely used in classic sunscreens, it's a toxic chemical that's easily absorbed by your skin and the EWG gives it a rating of six to eight because of concerns due mostly to hormonal disruption and cellular level changes. Common sunscreen ingredients like oxybenzone, octanoxate, and octocrylene are toxic to marine life. Oxybenzone in particular affects wildlife, plants, and coral reefs when it accumulates in the soil or groundwater. Um, it takes very little oxybenzone to damage coral reefs. According to Dr. Craig Downs, the executive director of Hereticus Environmental Lab, it can cause adverse effects in coral at just 62 parts per trillion. That's the equivalent of one drop of water in 6.5 Olympic swimming pools. Also, coral reefs are already bleaching due to increasing ocean temperature. Um, you know, they only cover 1% of the ocean floor, but they support 25% of marine life. So, you know, the compounded effects of oxybenzone killing them, it's a serious environmental issue. So the Florida Keys, for example, already lost 99% of its coral reefs. Hawaii has lost 40% last I checked, and it's taking action by banning the use of some of these chemical sunscreen ingredients starting in 2021. So why are we so hung up on having our zero waste sunscreen tested in a laboratory? Uh, for the same reason that we don't make our own sunscreen, safety. It's easy to get the recipe wrong, even if you are a well-intentioned uh, Etsy seller, for example. Unfortunately, there are many zero-waste sunscreens sold on platforms like Etsy that don't necessarily contain an active mineral ingredient, or if they do, they don't have an official SPF rating, and that's because in the States, FB the FDA is responsible for giving that rating, so you can't claim any SPF protection on your products unless it's been lab tested. So why is it hard to DIY your own sunscreen short of being a professional? because the amount of zinc oxide you add depends on the particle size and on the types of carrier oils that you're adding. And in addition to that, zinc oxide tends to clump up and it might leave you with unprotected areas on your skin if it clumps. And also there's no guarantee that, that you know, if it works the first time that you try it, that it'll be stable and work the second time that you use it a week later. Not to mention that if you use an oil like coconut oil um, in your sunscreen and that the zinc oxide clumps, your skin areas that were doused with just the oil will burn more readily. So to me, it's not worth it for myself. Here are some sunscreen options for the United States, Europe, and Australia. They're all broad spectrum. So UVA and UVB protection, non-toxic, reef safe, and lab tested. So my absolute favorite zero waste sunscreen is the compostable sport stick by Butterbean Organics because I just find it so particularly hassle free to apply to myself and to my daughter. Uh, also, I love their metallic four ounce pump bottle sunscreen. The top plastic part isn't recyclable, but the metallic bottle is, and you can actually refill your bottle with their 12 ounce refill pack. It's not recyclable, but it is less packaging waste than reordering four more bottles. Next is Raw Elements, which currently has the most variety of zero waste sunscreens on the market. Our experience with this brand is very positive. Their tinted moisturizing sunscreen uh, does not leave your face shiny and it dries really quickly. We've used it as foundation without any issues. It doesn't stain our clothes. Um, and additionally, their product is rated safe on the EWG network, getting a number one score. Next up is Badger. It's a B Corp that offers a water resistant zero waste sunscreen in a recyclable tin. There's no animal testing. They're Leaping Bunny certified. Their product is rated safe on the EWG network, getting a number one score. And besides that, the sunscreens are made in a facility that is 100% solar powered and the leftover ingredients from manufacturing are all composted. And amazingly, in 2019, they diverted 96.5% of their trash to either recycle or repurpose it. Next up, Just Skin Food offers sunscreen in a biodegradable paperboard tube made from organic ingredients and local beeswax. Equally important, their product is rated safe on the EWG network, getting a number one score. 
Pacific Beach Organics offers a water-resistant white or tinted sunscreen in a recyclable tin. Also, their product is FDA tested and rated safe on the EWG network, getting a number one score. So you can get their tinted version or their white version. Another great option. Waxhead Sun Defense offers water-resistant tinted sunscreen in a recyclable tin, which is the company's first step in their much larger plan to move away from single-use plastics and to switch some of their tubes to aluminum. Like many others in this list, their product is rated safe on the EWG network, getting a score of one. Next up is All Good, which offers water-resistant sunscreen in a recyclable tin. Again, their product is uh, rated safe on the EWG network, getting a number one score. All right, we're headed down under now to discover Sun Butter, an Australian company selling zero waste sunscreen in a recyclable tin. Unlike the other products in this list so far, it's actually vegan. Since they are an Australian company, their product is not in the EWG database. So I plugged in all of their ingredients and they all came out safe with number one ratings. Their product is also tested and approved by the Therapeutic Goods Administration. Now for Northern Europe, SunTribe is a Swedish company selling zero waste sunscreen in recyclable tins. What's unique about their offer is that they sell four colors, white, tinted, red, and blue. And since they are Swedish, their product is not in the EWG database, but all their ingredients check out. The only thing to report is the iron oxides content, which gets a score of number two on EWG. Finally, we arrive in the UK to highlight Not The Norm, a company selling zero waste sunscreen in a tin. Their four ingredients all get number one scores for safety on the EWG database, and the product has been lab tested according to EU standards. Of course, there are other brands to consider, but they didn't quite make the cut because they didn't fit our criteria. First is Surf Dirt, which checks all the boxes except for their bamboo container doesn't separate easily from the metallic portion and must be soaked in warm water to help it detach. Second, there is IR NYC <laughs> um, that uses both zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. We're not hating on them at all, it's just that we specifically chose to highlight only sunscreens that use zinc oxide as their sole active ingredient. That's because uh, the screening capability works for the entire UVA and UVB ranges and we have a few concerns about titanium dioxide when it comes to deep tissue protection and free radicals. Third, Meow Meow Tweet offers a zero waste sunscreen that didn't make it to this list because of its rose geranium oil content. Uh, Reach classifies this ingredient as an eye and skin irritant that may also cause an allergic skin reaction. And the CLP regulation, classification labeling and packaging, identified it as toxic to aquatic life with lasting effects. Other than this, we have to say that in general, we are big fans of Meow Meow Tweet products. Lastly, Avasol is another zero waste sunscreen brand that gets a number two rating on the EWG beta database. The only reason they didn't make it to the the final list is because of their lack of transparency about their organic fragrance, but overall it seems generally good and worth checking out. Okay, hope that you love this list and that it's helpful for you.